Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99Gaming with a video for The Walking Dead Road to Survival and this is New Team Hub. So this is a brand new user interface, just popped up, I downloaded a couple minutes ago. I'm still getting a habit of messing around with it, so I did this video, a little bit of a tutorial, but a little bit to kind of put it out there and if you guys have any tips or tricks, leave it in the comments below, it kind of helps me out. So I'm just being honest with you guys. So let's start out with my team stuff and things. So the one thing that I have noticed at this point is remember how in the past you picked your team and every time you went into a roadmap mission or whatever, you'd have to sub out one or two items. Well, with this, you can create a lot more teams. You can see stuff and things. I've got these particular items assigned to that team. And then if I go to Mo Jesus, I've got my grindstone and everything else saved to that team. If I go down to AK-47, and AK is Alicia, Andrea, and Kenny, AK, they're automatic weapons. See, it makes a little sense to me. I've got my hollow points and those items. So nice, neat layout, and I can just go, you know, team by team if I want to just throw this stuff up there. And when I go to use that team, these items are going to be saved. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and apply that and scroll all the way down. So the one thing that I did notice, and I hope this does not change, is I added a whole lot of additional teams. I haven't went through and sort of modified them, but you can see I added Team 13. And Team 13, I can start and go to Edit Team. It goes back to the old interface, but Team 13, let's say I want to go... Um, who do I want to go with? So now see what would be so great about this is more character slots, Scopely. I mean, really. Now we got the ability to create this infinite number of teams. I'm going to go with like a kid team. And I got another Carl floating around here somewhere. So let's throw Carl in there. And we'll throw Clementine in there. And where's Clem? And then we need one more. I don't have any more kids. But how about we go with uh, someone short? Or someone young? Or someone with the IQ of a kid? How about... You know what? We'll throw Rob in there. We're going to throw... Uh, is it Tom Brady? All right, we'll throw Rob. He's a trainer. So we'll put Rob in there, and this will be kids team. All right, so we added another team. We're going to save that team, and now you can see we got 13. So I don't know how many I can add. I mean, if you guys have went through this, maybe you can add 100 teams at this point. But uh, we'll go through and play around with it. So that's a nice edit team feature. The one bad thing is I'm still stuck on 90 character slots. So with all these different teams, we are moving a step in the right direction scopely. So it does give us a little bit more flexibility so we don't have to keep messing around with the same group. But now, more than ever, you can see the value of adding those character slots because then you can have gimmick teams, you can have collector's items. Um, so I don't think the interface is 100% what I wanted it to do, but it definitely is a lot closer and, uh, and I, we're, we're making a little bit of progress. So let me know what you guys think about this so far. The other upgrade that I read in the patch notes was something along the lines of wars, and I guess we'll know when the next war starts. That uh, Let's double check it, make sure we're not in war. Okay, we're not. Just wanted to make sure before I start quoting stuff. But it looks like it says the war matchups are going to be a little bit more fair. I, I don't know if I can take Scopely's interpretation of fair because you know these are this is the same company that says chances, more chances, two times the chances, double the odds. They speak in this different language. Sometimes we don't even understand. So what is fair to Scopely? I have no idea if that's fair to the rest of us, but it should make the matchmaking a little bit easier. And then once we get into a war, we can see if the gameplay and the navigation is better. But leave in the comments. I mean, I didn't have a lot of issues with the gameplay or the navigation, but if you guys did, if there was something specific that you saw when you were doing wars, I'd definitely like to hear about it. So thanks for watching, everyone. This is uh, The Walking Dead Road to Survival, New Team Hub. I got a lot of shout outs. I'll get to you guys in a little bit, but I definitely want to talk about this. And if you know any tricks or anything, this is a real quick video. Leave it in the comments below because I want to read your comments, something that may help me or help other people watching this video. My name is Killshot. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you all very soon. Peace.